All right, so now I guess that we don't have uh, much to do in the user side. The user side. All that we need to do is now create just a profile, a public profile page, and that will be all. But in this video, I want to go ahead and just fix and add a couple things. If we simply uh, edit the profile, if we go and edit the profile uh, for this guy right here, we can see that we um, we you know I just left this part you know for doing the design. In the last video to this video right here so if we go edit dash user dot php you know it was pretty simple we only need to remove uh this div right here so just go ahead and save all right so save this whole thing and the design will be just fine all right something else that we need to take care of um right here that we need to validate if the user that's trying to edit um this information right here is actually the user that's logged in or not because now if we try to type like one right here we can simply go to the first user and update his data all right which is just messed up so we want to validate for the session right over here um all right so we need to go ahead and just decomment this part and we need to add this to be user since we already grabbed the information for the user right here can just go ahead and make use of this code right away so this will actually be the id so if the id that you know that's coming from the database does not match the one inside the session that means that this guy is trying to update a, a data some data that's not his or, or some profile that's not his so we're gonna you know we're gonna make him go back to the index page so save this whole thing let's now refresh as you can see we're going back to the index page once again we try to edit this um looks like we got a problem so user id right here does not equal the one yeah this should actually be id all right not username so or even if we go to login i just want to make sure it's the id or not it's actually user id not id all right so save right here so let's now go ahead and try to access this so as you can see we're now going to our own page uh, and we can add uh, we can edit uh, the body and the email right here all right so this should be actually um if we go down this should be email and this should be about all right so save let's now go ahead and refresh all right so that's fine now let's try and go to the id of one which will allow us to update the data for some other user right here as you can see we're getting back to the index page so this is working this is working fine it's working perfectly um all right something else that we need to take care of if we go ahead to create a topic right here we can see that we have uh the category the category is right here they're being uh they're being displayed uh, in, in the select box aesthetically still so we want to go ahead and you know display them dynamically all right so this uh, shouldn't take too much work um if we simply go ahead they're actually in the create.php so we want to go at this part right here so we're going to go grabbing categories we want to go right here and go categories select All right it's equal uh connection query select all categories right here all right select all from categories right over here so we're gonna go categories select and we're gonna go execute right here so we want to go all categories i'm just gonna write cats like this just as a short all right so this will be this will allow us to simply go ahead and fetch all video um fetch underscore o p g all right so this will simply be all if we copy this part and if we try to go at the bottom right here so here are our own categories 
I want to remove all of these right here. I'm going to only go for the one that we have. So you can simply go right here. This is not echo. This should be a four each. Four each right here. All cats as cat. No, they're weird names, but you know, can type any names that you like. Oh, we want to go ahead right here. Just do cat and let's grab the name from it. And we want to also put this inside the value right here. No, because the select is actually going to grab um, the data from the value. All right. So after this, we're going to go ahead and go end for each. Save. All right. So if we refresh. All right. So there we go. We got our own. Um, our own categories names dynamically, which is awesome. All right. So this will. This will be all you now this is what i want to do in this video in the next video we're gonna go ahead and take care of the profile page uh, the public profile which is going to be really really simple we're not going to create something that's you know too fancy all right and yeah i will see you in the next video